Hi, I'm Claire Hanrahan, a field engineer here at One Energy. In this episode of Science Shorts, we're going to talk about the reason you can stand still without sliding around on the Earth's surface, friction. Friction is described as a force that opposes motion. It's the resistance of motion when two objects are in contact with each other, whether they're stationary or rubbing against each other. A higher amount of friction makes it more difficult for an object to move, whereas a lower amount of friction allows movement more easily. Friction is the reason why this block remains unmoving on the table, why brakes on a car cause it to stop, and why I've been able to stand upright this whole time. Today we've set up an experiment to demonstrate some properties of friction. The amount of friction an object can experience is based on two main factors. One, the roughness of the surfaces that are in contact with each other, and two, the amount of additional force between the objects. In this experiment, we'll see specifically how varying the surface roughness can change the amount of friction, which ultimately affects movement. To demonstrate, we're going to have a block race. We have two wooden blocks. Uh, one of them is wax and one of those is not. Let's assume they both have the same weight and size. So let's head on over to the racetrack. By changing the roughness of the block surfaces, we'll see how the different materials affect the amount of friction between the block and the surface, which relates to the speed the blocks will slide down. It's race time. Which lane do you think will have the best time? Did you see it? Which one came in first? The block with wax reached the finish line first. Here's why. A rougher surface means more friction uh, is created between the block and the ramp, therefore causing more resistance to movement. That means the smoother a surface is, the less friction is created, causing less resistance and thus allowing a quicker slide for the block. The block with wax finished first because the wax created the smoothest surface. The block with the smoothest surface won because there is the least amount of friction present. Another great example of how surface roughness affects friction occurs during winter, when sidewalks can be covered in ice. During the summer, the concrete on the sidewalk is very rough. So when you walk upon it in your tennis shoes, you don't slip and slide everywhere. But during the winter, a layer of ice covering the sidewalk can get you into some trouble. When coated with ice, the surface roughness is decreased, so there is less friction between your tennis shoe and the ground. This decrease in friction causes sliding motion to happen more easily, and if you're not careful, you may end up slipping and falling down. After seeing how friction affects the motion of objects, imagine if we didn't have any friction at all. We'd all just slide away. That's it for today's installment of One Energy Science Shorts. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and remember, challenge everything.